Oh, I forgot my glasses. Hang on. Okay, hang on. Can you guys hear that noise outside? That's some kind of Korean Thai, I mean, Korean or Japanese, not Japanese, Chinese tourist agency or whatever. And they have literally kept me awake the entire night. I, I mean, I think I've slept about three hours. What's up, Ty? Good to see you, buddy. Mm, I got all kinds of good stuff to talk to you guys about today. And I'll give people a chance to roll in and say hello and good morning and all that stuff. I literally am staying in one of the nicest hotels I've ever stayed in just because this was my last splurge of April, of the April vacation trip. And I have to tell you that um, there was a tour that came through last night, a Korean tour. Hey, Butch, good to see you, man. Hope it's not too cold in Wisconsin. Um, they dropped them off by the bus. I hope and pray they only stay one night because I literally didn't sleep. Like they At 5 a.m., they were walking the halls screaming and yelling and acting crazy. It was just, it, it, it was a mess, man. Uh, Kevin from North Carolina, what's up, buddy? Um... Glad you're tuned in. If you didn't know, North Carolina was my home state. Um, I'm originally from just outside of Charlotte. Yes, I'm primping myself in the cell phone right now. Eugene, what's up, bro? Good morning. It morning indeed. Morning it is. Early start. I got a uh, not much of a day planned today, but I do have coffee. Um, I thought we would live stream it out for a little while here. Hey, Andy, Michael. Good to see you guys floating on in here. So, the title of this live stream uh, is going to cover a lot of topics, several topics, actually. Uh, oh, Mooresville Kings Mountain. Mooresville, man. We used to go there and watch drag races all the time. Love Mooresville. Hey, D. Uh, hey, JC. Last stream from Greg was the worst thing I've ever seen on YouTube. <laughs> I, I heard about it. I heard it. I heard it. I, that's it. I heard about it. <laughs> you and I, I'll talk to you offline. <laughs> but says, thanks for the shout out. It's 52 tomorrow degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, well, that's not too bad, man. Do you know what I would give to being a 52 degree Fahrenheit scenario right now? Wow. John, morning for, from Kosamui. Oh, man, I'd love to be in Kosamui. Hopefully, I'll be in Kosamui next week. Now, I know that's not the same thing, but it'll be pretty close. Uh, Britt goes to jail, you know, didn't you know you were British? I've never been to jail in my life and I'm not British. And by the way, you're banned because I got your comment this morning. Uh, goodbye. Uh, Michael, hey, where's Ty at? Let me give him a wrench. Are you still here, Ty? I just gave you a wrench, so, uh... Michael says just got kicked off with an error. Got kicked off. Well, I'm reading your, uh, I'm reading your comments there, brother. Um, so uh, the Brit goes to jail. Here, okay, good. Thank you, Ty. Um, the Brit goes to jail thing. Here's what happened. Hey, Jacob. Good to see you, buddy. Hope uh, all is well with the family. Tell everybody I said hey. I'm get, I'm getting ready to get to the dental stuff, Kevin. Here in just a minute. Let me talk about this Brit going to jail. So apparently. According to the newspaper, and I'm not going to quote directly, I'm going to summarize, so if any of this information is incorrect, um, feel free to jump on me, feel free to talk about how bad a vlogger I am or whatever, I don't care. Um, but basically, the, the, the summation of the scenario is, according to the Brit, okay, I'm not saying the Brit lied or not saying the Brit told the truth, not saying the Thai police did anything wrong. I'm just saying this is according to the Brit. This came from a UK um, uh, newspaper. In fact, I think it was a BBC publication. Um, basically, what happened was somebody had dropped, this is according to the Brit, somebody had dropped their cell phone um, in uh, the airport. And he picked it up uh, apparently, I don't know if he was taking it to information or the Thai police charged him with picking it up and taking it to another location, therefore charged him with theft, okay? So, he's looking at, um, if I'm not mistaken, the article said up to 10 years in jail, but they got him out 
and about 10 days under parole. Um, uh, they had him released. I think it cost him, I want to say seven or nine thousand baht um, to get him paroled. Now he still has to come back and do all the legal stuff here, the whole nine yards, man. So, I mean, <laughs> wow. Butch says, I just got my Do More Life t-shirt about two weeks ago and I'm saving up for when I go to Thailand. Awesome, man. I'm glad you did that, Butch. Uh, uh, the Teespring website is going to be getting a revamp here very shortly. So anyway, moral of the story, guys, is if it ain't yours, don't touch it in Thailand. That's, uh, that's kind of what I got. Yes. If you could turn around and see what I see right now, all the Chinese and, and those tourists, nothing against Chinese people, nothing against Korean people, but they have been the loudest people I have ever met, I have ever seen in my entire life. They literally stayed up all night. All night! I got a room right by the swimming pool. Guess where they were? In the pool. Then I got a room uh, in the hallway where they come up at and guess where they were when they weren't in the swimming pool in the hall yelling at each other <laughs> so <laughs> it was not a very pleasant night um <clears throat> but so first lesson uh if it's not yours don't touch it ty does that make any sense to you have you heard of stuff like that before because you're the only one in here that i'm aware of that has a lot of experience on um stuff like that i I wasn't aware. Uh, uh, the guy picked the cell phone up that was on the floor and moved and moved it to a different location. Hey, Bob. Um, I don't know whether that location was to. Hey, Tommy. Good morning, sir. Uh, I don't know if that location was to, like a lost and found, or if he picked it up and moved it somewhere else to try to find the owner. Maybe he saw the owner drop it. I don't know. I have no idea what happened, but I do know. Hey, Brian. Good to see you, man. I do know that uh, I will not be picking anything up that's not mine and moving it anywhere for any reason. Uh, that's for sure. So, um, let's talk about dental work. I want to give you guys some prices. Yesterday, I got to Pat, uh, Patia, and I'll be here until Wednesday morning. Then I'm headed back to Rayon. Hey, Mark. Good morning to you, sir. Or evening, wherever you are. Mm. Excuse me, guys. My nose still itches. They put me under so much local anesthetic yesterday, like my face has been itching. It's weird. Uh, Bob says, hi, Jeremy. It's raining here in Hunt City, New Zealand today. I bet it... Does it rain a lot in New Zealand? I think it does. I'm sorry it's raining, man. It's not raining here, not yet, but it rainy season is approaching us very quickly. So, went to the dentist. Ladies and gents, it is sassed in the house. What's up, man? Um, I got, so what they did was, Brian says, allergies are bad, and short, yeah, yeah, real bad. So, what they did was, they took these teeth, I said, Eugene says, being helpful of thoughtful of these days could get you into a lot of trouble, <laughs> I know, right? So, she anesthetized this side of my mouth, and there were three fillings in this side of my mouth that had basically almost they were ready to come out because they were so they were done so poorly they were done like five, five years ago and i got i had them done really really cheap by a cheap dentist in north carolina and uh it just not shoddy dental work but i had to get it done uh for sure bobsy what's up man did you paint your white <laughs> no i didn't paint them these are <laughs> there's still some white on them these are my old ones the one that have the white line <laughs> good to see you bobsy Thanks for uh, tuning in, brother. But so what she did was she anesthetized this this side of my mouth and then she pulled those feelings out and here, here, and here, she filled them. And she also did a deep scale cleaning on uh, those teeth. Uh, in addition, so I got three fillings. Uh, she anesthetized that whole side of my face and did the deep cleaning on all the all the teeth on that side um all of that cost me in grand total about seven thousand baht or three hundred and forty something dollars roughly um that is cheap gentlemen because when i go back on wednesday 
she's going to do the other side, but she's going to extract the tooth and do some more stuff. Ty says, the BBC can no longer be trusted. Okay, as soon as you said they're reporting this theft, I nearly spat my car. Oh, okay. All right, well, there you go, bro. So, uh, perhaps that entire Brit story was just made up. Chuck, what's up, Chuck? Thank you for mentioning that, Ty. I appreciate that. Chuck, it's good to see you. Glad you're back, man. I hope you made it safe. Uh, got to meet Chuck finally in person out here in Pattaya. And uh, what a great dude, man. Just an upstanding, outstanding, great dude. Um, I was so pleased to, to, to meet somebody of his character, man. I really was. It was just, it was, it was wonderful. Uh, Eugene says, I remember getting the descaling about a year ago. Lots of blood. Yeah, bled for a while. Bob just says, cost nearly that much to get a tooth pulled here. I know, right? And they're going to go back in. Now, the other side's going to be about 9000 baht because they have to do a tooth extraction. Oh, and I also meant 7000 baht. Uh, also, um, is uh, they they put the uh, dentures in my... Uh, uh, I mean, they made the, the mold for the three teeth that are missing that they pulled on this side of my mouth. So, um... The seven th seven K is about two hundred and ten dollars. Not if you're an American. Uh, Chuck says yes. I'm home. Thank well. Thank God you made it home safe. And uh, I'm really glad to see uh, Matt. Also happy to meet you. You and uh, are you experienced? I was glad to meet you guys. And I had a lot of fun hanging out with you guys. Your bungee jump was epic, dude. If you haven't seen Chuck's bungee jump. Uh, it's on a live stream on this channel. Go check it out. It is, uh, it's something else. You really got to watch it, man. You really got to watch it. Um, let's go back up to where I was here. Uh, uh, D says, one more Chuck. Wow. <laughs> John says, Floss Daily saved thousands. Yeah, man, I ruined my teeth, John, back in the day. And uh, now I'm paying for it. So, yeah, nobody's fault but my own. I think Chuck has a loyalty card for Billabong. <laughs> <laughs> you think? <laughs> you think you got one? I think you got one too. <laughs> uh, let's see. Eugene says it's expensive here too in Malaysia. Uh, Got to take care of them. Probably what? Yeah, man. I wish I had it all to do over because I have so much work that needs to be done in my mouth. And I, you know, it's, no, it's nobody's fault but my own. So it's not like I'm blaming somebody for it. It's just my responsibility to pick up the tab for it which is kind of disheartening a little bit, but it's also, you know, it is what it is. It's my fault. Uh, Chuck made some great vlogs, I agree. Uh, he took some good pictures, too. Um, uh, Mario B says, Morning, how are you? I'm excellent, Mario. If I would have slept last night, I would have been even more excellent because uh, if you just jumped on, there was a tour group here, and they kept me up all night. It was just horrible. Uh, Chuck said... <laughs> Chuck Wild <Wow>, Billabong. <laughs> I get the wow. <laughs> Eric, uh, Eric says, greetings from Key Largo, Florida. Greetings to you, sir. I just watched a crazy movie. Some, psych uh, some kind of psychological thriller from uh, uh, Florida in that area last night. That was kind of weird. Um, I had Matthew McConaughey in it, though. It was pretty good. Um, Eugene says... Love that bungee jump vlog. Great stuff. Yeah, it, it was good, man. Because you got you got to see Chuck. You know, a little bit, a little bit nervous, and which everybody would be nervous. And then you got to see the the all the all the courage that it took for him to do it. And then at the end of the video, you you, you get the interview with him, right? And uh, you see just how like just how fulfilling that 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 jump was for him. I'm so proud of him, man. I'm so proud because. I never had my doubt, well, I, and really I never had my doubt that he was going to jump, but I just, I, I didn't know how long it was going to take him. <laughs> Brian says, don't forget to put your tooth under your pillow. I know, right? Uh, Mario, yeah, different trip. D says, now I remember the guy did another life. Yeah, that's him. Uh, Eric says, where's the best place for implants? All right, I'm going to tell you guys about that later. I haven't gotten implants yet, so I don't know. But I did get this very cool little travel kit. I'm not sponsored by these guys or endorsed in any way. Um, this is the, about the best toothpaste I've ever been able to find here in uh, Thailand. You guys can see that. And 
This is also a folding toothbrush for a traveler. It's also made by the same company. Can you see that? And so you fold it out, you got a medium bristle brush, you pack it back up, and then it goes in this little uh, plastic case here, one in each one. And bada boom, bada bing, you snap it up, and voila. How about that? Now, answer some comments. Uh, let's see. Uh, I, yeah, Eric, as soon as I get some implants, I'll tell you. But a big Steve, morning, three weeks, three days, I'll be over in Thailand. I certainly hope to see you, Steve. Certainly hope to see you, buddy. And I know you're counting down the days for sure. Um, yeah, dental implants. I know I haven't gotten any dental implants yet, but as soon as I get them, I can assure you I'll, I'll let you know where I'm getting them at and who's doing them. Uh, Mario says, I'm heading to... Patsy is today for a few days. Cool, man. Um, if you get free, hit me up later. We'll have some uh, dinners. Actually, I have a dinner, a guy coming in uh, that I'm going to have dinner with, but I can still make, make time to get up with you for sure. Um, Ty says, I see you haven't set the Do More Life hotel discount and reviews map in your default upload yet. Good point. I've been putting it on video by video. And I have to put it in the description of this video too. And I, when I do that, I will set it in the upload defaults. Good reminder. Very good reminder. Um, Kevin says, I'll be a dental tourist here soon. I hear you, man. Nothing wrong with that. Make JC feel warm and fuzzy by clicking the thumbs up. Yes, you can always click the thumbs up. And that will always, always, always make me feel better. Chuck, wow, I'm so jealous for everyone. Headed to Thailand soon. I didn't want to come home. I know you didn't, man. You really didn't want to come home. And uh, you had a good time, though. You got to admit, you had a good time. And that, that's what matters, man. You got the experiences. Um, the experiences that you had, or at least the ones that I was with you, and I was only with you for two days. Um, you know, you, you had two good experiences because we went to the Sanctuary of Truth, which is an amazing place. Um not going to talk about the other situation and then you had um uh the bungee jumping and stuff and we had uh lunch a few times i mean you you had some good experiences man so uh you should really treasure those and just be looking forward to your next trip i did that's my personal advice to you i don't I'm, i know you didn't ask for it and i generally don't give advice to people that don't ask for it but um um i can't wait to see you again for sure brother i, I can't wait to see you again man uh, make plans to move it can be done says Ty Tastic I agree Ty uh, Big Steve says no his home having Chuck wow <laughs> I think that was a typo I don't quite understand uh, Chuck says the best time vacation October 8 years till I move there yeah Chuck's got a good plan I'm going to tell you something that's a hard 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 working ex marine right there dude he is a hard working uh, gentleman and I really 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 am fortunate to be in <coughs> LL83 says Jeremy I want to thank you for all the beautiful and sincere content you put on this channel you are a good person you deserve all the best greetings from Italy thank you so much sir and I uh, or ma'am and I appreciate you very much uh, for saying that. That's a that's a, that, that's really nice. I like to hear comments like that. Um, Sass says I second that. Thank you, sir. Very, very, very much. Uh, no worries, says Big Steve. Coming up on twenty thousand subs. I know, John. I'm excited. I'm excited to come up on twenty k. It's been. Um, you know, I told you guys many times. I always thought if this channel got five thousand subscribers, I would be doing very well. And uh, because of you guys, we have succeeded that and uh, continue to grow. And I'm really, really happy at that. Are you back home or Patia? Right now I'm in Patia uh, because of the dental work. My dentist is here in, in Patia. I'm only going to be here for two days or three day, two days, three nights. Oh, and I exchanged uh, bikes too. I'll tell you about that in a second. Um, let's see. Hey, what's up, Tower Ski? Good to see you, man. It's been a while. Congrats, need really more subs. Yeah, I agree, D. I would like to have more. I'd like to get 30,000 so that um, we can do this channel membership thing that keeps me up from avoiding Patreons and all that other mess. Uh, everything can go through YouTube then. Um, 
which I don't have any plans to start a Patreon anyway. Uh, long time since I've caught your live streams. Yes, that has been Tower Ski. Okay, cool, says Mario B. Now, let me tell you about the bike. So I switched out the PCX. <coughs> First of all, speed bike rentals in Patia. Let me give a big shout out to them and the guy that owns it. What's his name, Ty? I, I can't remember his name, but he's French. And he's a really, really, really genuine, uh, straight up, honest, no BS guy. Hey, Danny, good to see you. Happy Easter, man. Um, Ty will put his name up here in a minute. And uh, in fact, you're a moderator. You can throw a link uh, to his Facebook page if you want to. Oh, you always forget his name. <laughs> um, if you if you can throw a link to uh, Speed Bike Rentals Pattaya or Speed Bike Pattaya, uh, you're welcome to do, do that. I, no, I normally don't do um, links on here, but um, okay, link coming, cool. Anyway, this guy is genuine. He does what he says he's gonna do when he says he's gonna do it. And if something happens, remember this is a rental company. They're in business to make money. The bike sitting there don't make them any money. So if he gets a bike in uh, and it happens to rent out before you get the one that you wanted, um, he'll tell you when it's coming back and he'll make sure you have something to drive uh, until you get uh, what you're looking for. So I swapped the PCX for an Aerox uh, 155. As you guys know, my long travels back and forth to Patsy are going to be few and far between uh, starting in uh, about the second week of May. Um, What's the ups update thing, Brick Goes to Jail? Well, I just got a uh, word from Ty that it came from the B BBC, which he says is a non-credited publication now. Hello, Aubrey. Good to see you. I found this on a Ty website, but it, um, so I I don't know. Here's the, here's what was the, the very the summation of what happened, right? Um, apparently, there was a Brit, a backpacker, and he saw a cell phone laying on the ground in an airport. Hey, Matt, what's up, man? Um, he saw the cell phone laying on the ground at the airport. Uh, Ron, good morning. Good to see you, buddy. Uh, Britt picked up the phone, uh, moved it to another location, was what the BBC cited. I don't know if he was taking it information, lost and found, have no idea what he was doing with it, but he took it to another location and the Thai police arrested him for theft because by definition that is theft in Thailand. Uh, moving something that's not yours to another location is theft. So um, they paid, he's out on parole and he's got a lot of court proceedings here in Thailand to go through. Now let me back way up here because we got some comments. Um, boom, 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 boom. Hey, I, did I say hey, Aubrey? Hey, Aubrey. And Matt, uh, Barry said, why did you ditch the PCX? Well, it's the Aerox is 400 baht uh, a month cheaper. And right now I'm all about, people have been telling me about saving, saving, saving. So um, I'm saving as much as possible. And I have to get the health insurance plan. I'll keep you guys updated on the health insurance plan for sure. Um, also, the Aerox is, uh, believe it or not, it cruises down the road a little bit faster than the PCX does. Uh, the ride seems to be pretty comfortable, and it's a lighter bike, so it's much easier to maneuver. Um, it does not have as much storage space, but that's okay because I use bungee cords for my backpack, and I use um, uh, saddlebags. So, um, you know, that storage space stuff is not really a, a big issue for me. Um, but yeah, so that's basically why I changed. Um, let's see. Kale says, good morning, Jed. Good morning to you, sir. Ron, good morning. Good morning to you, Mr. Ron. Good to see you. Glad you were in here. Uh, okay, so John just gave a summary there. Uh, Brian says, stop by Charlotte Harley on Saturday. Uh on a couple of soft trail boom <laughs> i hear you buddy uh yeah so I, i'm definitely not riding harleys for sure uh danny says hi i j just purchased a hundred dollars for the super jet mm. are you that guy danny because there's no super chat showing up brother sorry man if you did that it's not coming through uh, not calling you a liar or anything. I'm just saying there is no super chat on this channel as of, uh, I mean, the super chat's available, but there is no super chats on this live stream. Um, 
Towerski, thanks for the 411. Mario says, will you be out and about later? Or are you anywhere near Beach Road? Uh, yeah, I'm generally within the area. Uh, I'm staying a little bit farther away from Beach Road than I normally do. But um, I'll be out and about later for sure. Yeah, there's the link, uh, speedbikepataya.com. Guys, go check him out. Tell him that uh, Jeremy from Do More Life sent you, or you can say Ty Tastic sent you, or whatever you, I don't know what you call him, Ty, um, or what he calls you. You have, like, you know, multiple personality disorder. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, you, know, you know what I mean by that. Uh, Chuck says, Brian, be nice. I'll have my street glide out tomorrow. Uh-oh, the Harley men are coming out. Barry Smith says, cheers for the explanation, looking at buying one. You should do that. See, here's the difference, right? The PCX, it is, a, it, it, when you sit on it, you can tell the difference. It's more comfortable for sure, okay? Um, no question about that. There is more underseat storage space, and it is a better cruising bike. Um, however, it's heavier, which makes it a little bit harder to maneuver in traffic. Um, and it costs about 110,000 baht roughly. Okay. So the, um, uh, the, if you buy a brand new, uh, Aerox 155, you're looking at about 69 to 74,000 baht. And you're getting a lot of bike because their things are legal. I'm not sure about the two strokes, Kevin. Don't know. Let me scroll back up there and catch everybody. Uh, let's see here. D says, I got a hater and a troll. Now nah, I'm a real YouTuber. That's right. You're, you can't be a real YouTuber until you got a hater and a troll, man. <laughs> mm. Oh, and by the way, I've told you guys about Integrity Legal many, many, many times on this channel. A uh, long time ago before uh, somebody else mentioned it recently. <laughs> and uh, I encourage you guys to go there and check out any visa-related uh, uh, requirements or tax purpose stuff and all that thing, all that stuff. So uh, uh, go to Integrity Legal. Uh, his name is Benjamin Hart. Uh, he's the managing director. He's a certified American attorney, and he has his Thai attorneys working for them, uh, for him there. He does not practice Thai law uh, here. Um, I don't think he can, but I'm not sure. Uh, but I do know that he has Thai attorneys working for him, and he's a really good guy. Um, because I personally talked to him on the phone before. Um, let's see here... Towerski says, yes, uh, you have been initiated, I know, right? Uh, Danny Ly says, yes. Uh, Ray Ray says, hello, my friend. Hello, Ray Ray. Been a long time. Um, <laughs> you are now officially a YouTuber. I know. Earthquake Castilios yesterday, Jez? Where's Castilios? Is that, is that South America? I would assume so, because... Castilios sounds some type of Latin language, either Italy or Spanish, possibly French, but I don't think so. FYI, to buy the Aerox 155 on the road inclusive of insurance, 72000 baht. There you go. So you get the insurance and everything for a brand new one for 72000 baht. Good piece of information, Ty. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. John says, Jeremy, did you know that there were, was an earthquake in the Philippines recently? Oh, so it was in the Philippines. No, I didn't. Um, where's Castillo? Where is that located? Is it in southern or northern um, Philippines? Uh, or in the middle? Is it in the Visayas or Mindanao or the northern Luzon or uh, near Manila? Somebody tell me. Towerski says, hey, Jeremy, have you ever been to Krabi? I have not, but I am definitely looking forward to going because two of my good friends have told me that it's the most beautiful place in Thailand, so I'm excited about that. Um, tell them Large Marge sent you, Brian says. I know, right? <laughs> Bobby Crush says, looking slimmer there, mate. Look fresh. Yeah, I've been eating uh, really, really healthy, guys. I really have. I, I, I went to the resort last week, as you guys know, in Rayong, and I ate fresh seafood pretty much the entire time I was there. When I say fresh, I mean caught the same day. Um, 
this resort is incredible. You guys, please watch the resort videos if you're ever thinking about coming anywhere near Rayong, Thailand, because uh, these guys, uh, or this lady, I should say, uh, that owns this place, it's all hers. Um, her and her Thai family put together this incredible, incredible bungalow resort that looks Thai on the outside, and on the inside, it's 100 percent modern i mean i was getting 60 megabits per second up and down inside this room it's got a smart tv you can plug usbs into there you can plug micro sds you can plug all hdmi all kinds of stuff into the tvs brand new air cons brand new mattresses they spared no expense full kitchens uh bathrooms hot water showers i mean it's it's nice and it's on it's 700 meters from the beach and it's uh, maybe a 10 minute, 15 minute drive to ba uh, Bon Pei. So you can go to Koh Samet from there. I mean, it's just, which is where the Bon Pei is where the ferries are for Koh Samet. Incredible guys, absolutely incredible. Um, Yamaha are not bad either. Yeah, they're really not. In fact, I considered, I was down to uh, either the PCX or the NMAX, but I chose to go with the Honda because I love that combo, the combi brake that Honda has. So you only have to hit one you know just your left hand side and but with these you have, you have to hit both because you need to put a little bit of tension on the front wheel um as the back brake only works on the back brake obviously um d says got a three-year-old pcx 150 at 45,000 baht. bot that's a good deal man that's a good deal now keep in mind there are several versions of the pcx right so there's the pcx led 150 that's a keyless uh, P, uh, PCX and it has the LED lighting system. I think you can also get a version of that um, Which is keyless, but it doesn't have the LED system on it. The Aerox I got is less, is, uh, less than a year old that I'm renting now and um, It's uh, it has the LED lighting as well. I really like the LED lights um, It just seems nice John says crown fun crowdfunded 20,000 pounds got him out non-prosecution order bought he is done well see that's where Ty was talking about the um BBC not being a trusted source so there you go I was I was reading and summarizing from the BBC so apparently they got things wrong John thank you for checking uh into that for us I really appreciate that it's always good to have you guys come in and make sure I'm on point with what I say. So, uh, appreciate that. Thank you. Um, are you drinking champion? You see, all right, Ty, this is Danny guy, this is Danny guy or whatever. See, this is Nestle Cafe coffee. You understand? I don't drink. You understand that? I don't do drugs. Do you understand that? I don't do any of that stuff. You, my friend, are history. You claim you, um, uh, did a hundred dollar super chat, which is simply not true because it's not there And then you want to talk about me drinking and this other little passive-aggressive stuff. So bye-bye now um, Big Steve says I don't like motorbikes, but when you move to Thailand I'll buy one of those uh, with three wheels <laughs> can't fall off the motorbike train wheels Motorbikes the only way I'm gonna travel here. I'm not traveling by car. I'm not gonna buy a car ever um, Just not gonna do it simply because um, I can move in and out of traffic from uh, I find I can get from Rayong uh, from uh, Just about where the resort is to Pattaya in an hour and 20 minutes on a motorbike So that's pretty darn good for me uh Let's see uh, where we're going here. Hang on, looking back up, Big Steve. Good deal. You cannot see. Wow, missed a bunch of comments. Uh, okay, Big Steve said. Okay, got that one. Mario says, "Danny La, it's a small can of coffee." Yeah, we. He knows that. He's just. You gotta have a troll, guys. Right? You gotta have trolls on on all these things. Hello, Jeremy. How you been? It's been a while since I catch your live stream. It's good to see you, JL, and it has been a while, man. Um, yeah, you can get stabilizers, too, on the bikes. That's a good point, Ty. Uh, Ray Ray says, eight people killed in the Philippine earthquake. Oh, man, that's terrible. All right, somebody just put up a real $5 super chat. Thank you so, so very much for that. Um, I'll scroll down to it in just a moment, but I really want to tell you I appreciate that. In fact, let me see who you are right now. Big Bentley. 
Uh, you're a legend, mate. <laughs> Thank you, bro. I'm definitely not a legend, but I really, really, really appreciate that super chat very, very, very much. Uh, just so you guys know, I say this all the time, Super Chats, AdSense, all that stuff goes to uh, travel and equipment for travel and stays while I'm traveling. Um, everything else comes out of my pocket as far as my life. No Super Chat goes to pay my rent or my dental bill or um, any any life expenses. Um, this is the, It's all about traveling, guys. So, let me scroll back down to where we were. Uh, okay, 6.1 mag and earthquake and PI, Ron says, that's a pretty sizable earthquake. Bobby says, uh, Castilian is the main Spanish language. I did not know that. That is news to me. I took seven years of Spanish in uh, college and did not know that. That's, uh, wow, good, interesting to hear. Uh, Kel says, Luzon, next town from Subic. <laughs> no comment. Uh, Tommy says, Integrity Legal has been putting out some great YouTube videos lately. Yes, they have. They have. They've been putting out YouTube videos for a long time and definitely don't get uh, the recognition that they deserve. In fact, they just put out one this morning. Uh, Bobby Crush, or Eric says, Bobby Crush Cuban, Cuban is the main Spanish here. Okay. John says Clark Airport was damaged from the earthquake. Oh, oh, so it did happen in the toward the Luzon area. Okay, um, sorry to hear that about the airport. That's terrible. Uh, that was the epicenter. Oh, the epicenter of the earthquake was up there. I get you. I got you, man. Uh, well, hopefully, I feel terrible for the people that died, but hopefully, no, no, no one else was seriously injured. That's uh, that's rough, man. That's rough. Um, what happened just joined in so short version is uh and i've been corrected on this already because uh somebody double checked the bbc but the bbc reported okay the bbc reported that a british uh backpacker uh found a cell phone laying in the airport picked it up and took it somewhere else don't know where he was taking it to information could have been he could have been stealing it i don't know um but according to thai law um, he was, uh, arrested for theft, and, uh, then according to, I think John is the one that mentioned, um, he said that he was done, uh, paid all the damages or whatever, and was finished with it. It was my interpretation of what the BBC said is that he had, uh, court dates and all that stuff upcoming, but according to John, he must have read an article and said that, um, he's done, so that's it. Uh, Donde, Bobby says, Donde, where? Where? He is asking where. Uh, Eric says, Key Largo, just south of Miami. Cool, man. Love it. Mario B says, okay, Jeremy, I'm in Bangkok. I'm going to catch the bus over to Patia shortly. Hope to catch you later. Be awesome, man. Love to see you, Mario. Uh, <laughs> oh, I, okay. Uh, I've changed to LEDs, 1,500 bytes. Says D, good for you, man. Bobby Crush, Key Largo, isn't that where De Niro took Nick Nolte on the boat? That's a good question. I can't remember. Uh, rooftop pools were bit, were emptied from the swaying buildings in Manila. Wow. Wow. Um, Eric says, maybe Bobby says, I'm in Liverpool. Uh, that's cool. Um, let's see. Kent says, good morning from shaky Metro Manila. Kent, tell us what happened, man. Bobby says, sorry for you, amigo. We're all English here. Uh, not sure who you're talking to, but it's all good, man. Uh, Tikoba, is it true that in Thailand, if you get into a bike accident with a local, it's automatically your fault? Many thanks, cool dude. Um, since I live here, I can't legally speak on that, but I will tell you that you are on to a good point. Um, Craig, Craig, thank you, man. Thanks so much for the uh, super chat. I just saw it. Thanks, dude, so, so much. Uh, every, every little bit goes a long, long way, and I really appreciate it. Love you, dude. Love you, too, man. Such a positive guy. If you guys don't follow Craig, I don't know how many of you he wants you to follow on Facebook. I don't, I don't think he has a YouTube channel, but on Facebook, man, this is one of the most positive individuals I, I have ever met in my life. And if you don't know his story, I would love for him to share that sometime with you guys because he is yeah, just filled with positivity. Kind of like Scuba Tom, uh, just filled with positivity. 
Uh, Ryan says, hit that thumbs up button. Yes, sir. I'd uh, love to see some good thumbs up on the chats for sure. Uh... Does he see super chat? <laughs> I did. I called it, man. I'm sorry. I got, I'm way behind in comments. Um, uh, Bobby says, if you wasn't in the country, then the road accident would not have happened. It's the mentality. Okay. Uh, yeah, T. Sorry, I couldn't explain any further, but you un you understand. Uh, Sass says, I seen YouTube video of the pool water running off the roof of a high rise, look like a waterfall. Wow. Wow, well, you know, the Philippines sets in the ring of fire, so earthquakes are expected, and I imagine building codes are kind of, you know, built to withstand most of that stuff. Uh, my building swayed so much, Kent said. Uh, the pocket doors slid open in Quezon City. Uh, lots of creaking and cracking sounds. Ooh, that's not good. Um, I heard a few people died. That's tragic, man. That's terrible. I'm really sorry to hear about that. Um... I'm glad you're okay, though, uh, for sure. Uh, Kyle says, uh, Hey, Jeremy, finally get to see a live chat. Been missing them. Do more life, buddy. Yes, sir. That's what we're trying to do, and we're going to try to continue to do it. Um, I also talked about, let's see. Bobby said, Only time a da 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 said to me, the earth move was, yeah, 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 Bobby. We can't, we can't, uh, we can't put those comments on here man don't worry don't take it personally it's a youtube thing not a jeremy thing i don't care about that comment that comment was i thought was funny but um youtube wouldn't think it was funny so we don't leave those comments up my apologies my friend um so traveling cheaper um yeah man it's no big deal it's no big deal just just uh we have to kind of keep an eye on those things just to be safe um traveling cheaper so I know a lot of people use uh, Agoda, and Agoda is a good, I've actually started using Agoda now a little bit. Um, and let's see, there's Craig with $5. Can't wait until we talk and hang out. Uh, you're an awesome, you're an awesome brother. Thank you uh, for the vids. Hit me when you have time. I sure will, Craig, I sure will. Um, talking to you anytime would make it a good day, I'm sure. Um, uh, I really hope people get to hear your story. Maybe I can interview you while you're here in, uh, uh, in Thailand. That would be awesome. Thai guy, bro. What's up, buddy? Uh, all right, JC. Always use it. Go to never had a problem. Yeah, so I just recently started. And um, just so you guys know, um, the go to links in, that you're going to find in the Do More Life map that you're going to find in the description of every video. Um, I've even backed up two videos, uh, and I'm going to continue to put those links in there. Uh, I get no kickback off those links, okay? Those links are for somebody else to get a kickback off of, but the advantage to you is the person that gets the kickback has been... Um, an affiliate with Agoda and, and drives so much traffic there that you get like a, a fantastic deal. I mean fantastic deal. Uh, if you don't believe me, go to the last video or wait till this one's over and I publish the description and you will see just how much uh, the resort price cost you. Uh, and there's the, uh, uh, there's the reviews map. Those are all the hotels uh, that I have uh, stayed at and done reviews on that Ty just posted. Uh, Bobby says, Jeremy, if you shaved the beard and bought big colored glasses, you'd look like Elton John. Brother, I wish I had his money. I wouldn't have anything to worry about, but thank you. <laughs> uh, Lou, hey, hey Lou, can I rent a MP3, MP3 motorbike on a car uh, license just like in Europe? That's a great question. Uh, one of you Europeans answer that for me. That'd be awesome. Uh, Craig says, do more life. Cool. I'd be happy to tell my story. Jeremy, you're the most honest dude on YouTube. You are. Thank you so much, man. I so I really appreciate that. I really appreciate that. Uh, Michael, five bucks. You're a good person. Thank you so, so much, Michael, for the super chat. Much, much appreciated, man. Uh, Kyle says, watch the hotel review. Good, good. I hope you got something out of it. JL says, $5. Thank you very, very, very much, JL. Coconut water on me. I hear you, man. At that $5 will go toward coconut water because I've only had one coconut water since I've been here, and I'm getting a little thirsty, and I'm almost out of coffee. But I have a backup. 
Um, let's see, Silent Bob, you don't need any license or insurance to drive in Asia. That is the most ignorant comment I have ever heard in my entire life. You absolutely must have either an international driver's license uh, to drive here in Thailand or the Philippines, um, or you must get a driver's license from that country. Uh, do not come here without a driver's license and expect to drive, guys. You will get ticketed, and it will be bad. Big Bentley says, got to go, brother. Have a great day. Thank you so much for your super chat, sir. It was very, very nice for you to drop by. Um, I really appreciate it. Enjoy your day very, very much. Uh, Bobby says, I'd answer that question, but I'm not European. I'm British. Okay, I, guys, pl forgive me if I get British to European mixed up. It's kind of like the Latinx versus the Latino versus the... Uh, Brazil, all that stuff. I, I I don't mean any harm by it, by it at all. Uh, Kyle says, watch the hotel reviews. Very good. Thank you, Kyle. Good, man. I'm glad you're seeing them. Sorry, posted twice. No problem. Um, uh, Kyle says, two months and I fly to Vietnam. Woohoo. Good for you, buddy. Please, uh, shoot some video, man, and, uh, let us know how Vietnam is because we're all currently running off Rike's videos in Vietnam. And, uh, I'll tell you another. Um, Steve, I get your comment in just a second. I'm not sure if he likes me very much because he hangs out with the with the opposite of me. But um, I tell you, a guy that puts out some good vlogs in Vietnam, I don't mind. I'm gonna plug him anyway. And his channel is Triangle Hat. Um, he and initially he made some really positive comments on this uh, channel. And I certainly hope he doesn't have anything against me because I don't, I don't have anything against him at all. But he is also a very good source of information um, in many aspects. Um, and I think, it's, I think he runs a great channel. So no matter what his opinion is of me, um, I think he has a good channel with good information. And you guys uh, don't want to see Rike's videos, go check out Triangle Hat. But there's nothing wrong with Rike's videos, by the way. I think he does a great job. I've always been a fan of Rike. Uh, Big Steve says, yes, you're right, Jeremy. I have to show my international license and my home license to rent a car over there. You absolutely do. That's true. Uh, Kyle says, I will, and I'm traveling into Thailand. Awesome. Barry says, Vietnam is fantastic. Well, northern Vietnam. Not sure about the south. I'm not sure about either one, but I'm definitely planning on getting over there sometime. Uh, have you ever been, Bobby says, have you ever been down to Nashville? Um, it is. Is it worth going to have a look anywhere you recommend United States? Um, I have not been to Nashville, unfortunately. I wanted to go. Several of my friends have been, and they absolutely love it. Give it a five-star recommendation, the whole nine yards. So, yes. Um, in the U.S., places to go. There's a lot of good places in North Carolina to go. Asheville, you can go to the Blue Ridge Parkway, which is absolutely incredible. Um, you can go down to the Coast. You can do the lighthouse tour. Um, you can go to like Wrightsville Beach, um, you know, where the first flight took place. There are a lot of cool things to do in the United States. Um, okay, cool, Kyle. Keep in touch, man. Jason says Nashville is awesome. I would, I would have to agree with that, even though I've never been. I would think Nashville would, would be awesome. Big Steve, Jeremy, you heard from Fran? I have not heard from Franz. I don't know what. Um, I'm not sure what happened to Franz. Um, I've seen him on a few comments, but I haven't seen him on a live stream. He, he's probably working really hard. Um, uh, he's one of those guys that, that works and then takes a vacation, so he, and he works some really, really long hours. Eric says, Miami Beach is fun, and anywhere in the Florida Keys enjoyable. Oh, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure. Um, I'm just giving my opinion on places I have been, um, and I've been very few places, and uh the states other than to stay for one or two nights you know i've been up and down the east coast but only staying one or two nights the kangaroo went to nashville last year had the time of my life but most people do when they go there that's what they tell me i'll be in sadak uh vietnam i've never heard of that place but is it near denang in denang up kind of northish a uh, little bit beach town i'm not sure Bobby says, I've always wanted to go to the Grand Ole Opry. Oh, that would, that would, man, that's like a, that's a country boy's dream right there is the Grand Ole Opry. 
Um, hey JC, how's it going, mate? Good, good, and about to get better. Uh, Ty says, when you get stopped by the police, they will ask to see your license. This can either be an international license or a Thai license. Exactly. You are able to get a Thai license for a small test and fee. That's true. Um, that's exactly what I did. Uh, Ron says, hey all, good morning, Ron. Uh, Ron uh, good to see you. Thank you for dropping by. Uh, Bobby says, I live in the home of the Beatles uh, and would love to be in the home of, U of country. Uh, love that about the USA, man. That's a good thing about the USA. Lots of people there. Craig, I see you again on five bucks, man. Thank you so much, dude. I really appreciate it. The channel loves you for it, really. I mean, we get to, we're get going, we going to Bampay, we're going to Coastal Met, we're going to some other places, and um, uh, trust me when I tell you, uh, your hard-earned money will be spent wisely. I can assure you, with more content, more info, that's what I do. Um, oh yeah, by the way, before I get to, down to the comments, the trademark of this channel is licensed under two trademarks. One is the apparel and the other is the um, channel itself. So this is a, uh, the trademark is licensed for a YouTube channel based on travel and education. And you can read that if you go to US, uh, USPTO.com, that is the United States Patent and Trademark Office, um, and you click on... Um, uh, or type in do more life in the search bar you will see that uh so let's go back up here real quick um ba -ba 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 -ba. J jason says ryman in nashville is a great too cool cheers jason uh the name is north okay kyle uh nice hat hair jc i know right it's like it's, it's bad man i'm telling you craig thanks again brother um for uh that that uh contribution i do greatly appreciate it i live you live oh you live two hours away from nashville so much fun so i got caught speeding last time in thailand by a fixed camera on the overpass cost me 500 baht at home would have cost me 500 dollars that's very true uh eric says first saturday in may you must be in louisville kentucky been there done that uh you talking about for thunder eric I've been there. Uh, that's an amazing show too. Um, I haven't got, I haven't got any tickets at home yet. I hope I haven't got tickets because I've been caught. I, I mean, I speed a lot. <laughs> um, let's see. Ron says in the early zeros. <laughs> that's what it says. <laughs> mm -hmm. A friend was being introduced to the Country Music Hall of Fame, even. We even got to be extras on the Hee Haw since he was on there, too. That's hilarious, dude. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Uh, I was born and raised in Louisiana. Okay, Eric, got you, man. Uh, beautiful beaches with waterfalls and viewpoints. Um, that sounds like an interesting place, Bob. Um, Bobby Crest says, Willie Nelson plucking away. Uh, Jeremy, I'm on the road again. Pure magic. That would be awesome. That's kind of cool, man. I like that. Uh, Big Steve says, Titastic at home would have lo lost my license for six months over 30 kilometers. Yeah, you would have for sure. Roman Doll, so sorry, mate. I have to bring the mess to work. Catch you later. No worries, man. Uh, catch the replay. Good to see you, Roman. Um, Kyle says, Where is Richard? Miss him? So do I, brother. So do I. All I know is he's been working hard getting settled at the end to his new job and uh, love to see him back anytime. Anytime. He's always welcome for sure. Um, let's see. Greg. Hey, Greg. A little late here, but uh, good day, sir. Yeah, you are way late. I've been talking for 53 minutes and we're going to shut it down uh, very shortly here because I got to get going at some point. Um, no derby. Oh, derby. Yeah, I've been to Der Well, so they have Thunder, then they have Derby, right? Uh, so Thunder is the week before Derby, and I've I've spent or a, co a couple of or a day a day or two before Derby. I've been to both in Lu in Louisville. Uh, is is what I'm trying to tell you, uh, because I lived in not Evansville, Indiana. That's where I was seeing the girl. Uh, I lived in I live right across the bridge in Indiana. Uh, for a few months, and I just happened to be there during that time. 
Uh, Waylon Jennings, wow, I know, man. Dang sticky eight key. <laughs> I hear you, Ryan. Don't blame it on eight. <laughs> Mario says, what's the easiest way to get in touch with you? Facebook Messenger, not by my fan page, but by my actual page. It's, uh, I got on the green plaid shirt, and I'm holding a camera under my chin. That's the best way to get in touch with me, for sure. Uh, Big Steve says, got to go. The girl wants to go shopping. Okay, Steve, you have a good one, brother. Thank you for dropping by. I appreciate it very much. Bobby says, Blue Ridge Mountains takes me home. Country Road, that's it. That's also a very good one. Love the Blue Ridge Mountains. Lake Lures up there, man. There, there's a lot of stuff to do up there for real, guys. So, um, thank you, guys. And Ty, thank you for my... Wait, we're reconnecting here, guys. Can, can you guys still see me? This is kind of weird. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I got the little buffer in the screen right here. Uh, what's your Thai language skills like? Surely to form a better understanding of Thailand and provide accurate information to viewers, this skill is a must. Amazes me how many Thai, how many Thailand don't speak Thai. Well, um, my Thai language skills are coming along, but they are certainly by far not the best in the world, I will admit. Uh, yep, was buffering, you're good. Have a good day, buddy. Thank you, Aubrey. Kyle says, see you soon. Awesome. want to tell you guys, love you very much. Thank you for everything, and, um, I appreciate having such a, just a wonderfully positive, uh, uh, live stream here this morning for almost an hour. Great. Just absolutely great. Uh, did have a good one. A discount. You got it, Ty. I'm not going to forget for sure because I'm going to the strawberry fields. I hear you, man. Uh, got to run, says Eric. See you guys. See you, Ty. Uh, later, guys, and have a good